Do you want to know the best food item to sell in your ghost kitchen in 2021? An item that is proven to have high demands, good volume, and high margins. That all these big brands are all jumping into this trend. If you want to know, make sure you guys keep watching. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a thriving small business and a profitable food business. Out of curiosity, are you actually thinking about starting your brand in a ghost kitchen? Let me know. If you're like a lot of other foodiepreneurs out there struggling to find an item to sell because of all the abundance of choices and noises out in the marketplace, and then you end up choosing an item that's just not making enough money, and on top of that, it's gonna waste your time and resources, it is gonna be a huge headache for you. And that's the reason why we're shooting this video for you, to show you and to tell you what is the number one item, the best item to sell for your ghost kitchen operation in 2021. Are you guys ready? If you guys are ready, I'm gonna announce it right now. The best item to sell is chicken wings. So why chicken wings? First of all, it is because it is a staple food item. It is a staple food item that is known amongst all different cultures. Everyone loves chicken wings. And on top of that, with what's going on in the world right now, comfort food is definitely a must. And on top of that, when we're eating chicken wings, we could be eating chicken wings as our entree, we could be eating it as sides, or we could be sharing it with the family. And that's the reason why this versatile item is so popular. Speaking of demand, it has high demands. According to National Purchase Diary, they reported in 2019, more than 900 million servings of wings were consumed in the United States. And National Chicken Council also said, even with restaurant trips down 11% in 2020, because of the whole pandemic, wing sales, they actually jumped up 7%. The council reported in his annual wing report. Now, knowing these statistics is eye-opening and insightful. However, we must follow what the big brands are doing in order for us as smaller restaurants to be able to ride the wave. And the reason why we must follow these big brands is because they invest a lot of money into doing research and analysis to see what are the items and what are the opportunities in the marketplace that they can serve. And right now, they are investing very heavily into creating new wing brands so then that way they can fulfill the demand that is underserved. So if you are able to create a wing brand, you would be able to catch the coattails of these movements under these big brands. So then that way you can be able to generate some money as well. For example, Wing Zones, they've seen their sales spike more than 25% from March 2020 to September 2020 compared to the year previously. And according to what their CEO Matt is saying, this has been the greatest sales surge we have had in our 27 year history. And not only that, sales at a smaller location in New York City, Atomic Wings, they have seen more than a 100% increase in some of their locations as well, according to their CEO, Zach. If you guys enjoyed this video and find value in this video, make sure you guys smash the like button and let me know this is the type of content that you enjoy. Now, back to regular programming. While it is definitely not enough just to be able to see the sales impact of existing restaurant, it's more important to see what these big brands are actually doing moving forward to really validate that this is the best item for ghost kitchens in 2021. For example, let's check out Applebee's. According to their vice president of strategy, Scott, they said that at the Applebee's restaurant, wings are a top selling menu item, especially for to go in 2020. And that's the reason why they decided to create another standalone brand called Cosmic Wings. And they have already reportedly been pulling in hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales every single week. Now, knowing the fact that this is a very highly in demand and validated product, we must understand the pricing for this item as well. Typically speaking, for a pound of wholesale chicken wings, they sell for roughly $2.50. Now, don't quote me on this, it really depends on the logistics and also the supply chain. But typically speaking, we're talking about $2.50 per pound, which yields around four to five wings, which brings a cost per wing to roughly 40 to 60 cents. What does that mean? That means you can start retailing your chicken wings at a retail price of roughly a dollar to a dollar fifty, depending on your strategy. 
With this pricing structure, you're gonna have at least 60 to 70% margins, which allows you to actually have pretty healthy margins. Now the caveat to this pricing is the fact that these items are very highly volatile. What do I mean by that? I mean that whenever there are major sporting events, such as Super Bowl, the prices for these wings goes up and skyrockets to $3 a pound to $3.50 a pound because of this huge influx in demand. So definitely understand that the prices of your wings are will be affected depending on the different events that are happening in the world. So for you, make sure that you have enough margins in your item so then that way you can account for these different events. Another caveat is that if you do decide to choose this as your item, make sure that you are not going in just like any other wing brands because at the end of the day, I shared with you, these big brands are putting in hundreds and thousands of dollars into creating their brands. And if you wanna compete with them, you must differentiate. You must provide something that is a little bit more different, has some sort of edge, so then that way you can be one step ahead of these brands. Because for them, they are a big brand, it's hard for them to be nimble, it's hard for them to test and take risk. Whereas you as a small brand, you can test out, have different crazy flavors, have different textures, and have different combos that would set you apart from everyone else. Now the main takeaway for this video is to know that chicken wings is here to stay. It is definitely not a fad. The love and the demand for this item will stay for years to come. The only caveat is to know that you must account for the volatility of the prices and on top of that to be able to differentiate yourself in order for you to actually be profitable. Now that you know wings is going to be a home run product, then the next question to ask is how do you get it started? How do you build that business foundation? Knowing which obstacles to avoid, knowing what are the marketing strategies, so then that way you can start to outbeat the big brands. How do you differentiate all this good stuff? We have a free masterclass that we're hosting in the link below, definitely check it out. It is a completely free masterclass that is over an hour long of free training just for you. So then that way you are the most equipped to go and build that brand and to be profitable right away. I'll see you guys in that masterclass. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video.